Welcome, everybody. This is a commentary of uh, week two of uh, UUPL, so I'm a little bit late to commenting this, and I was actually writing a post. Um, I've been writing weekly posts on uh, the underused Premier League and how the GSC players have been performing. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this game. It is rather long. I will... Um, say that much. All right, so here we go. So we start off with a Pilo Swine lead versus Granbull. Um, it should be noted, HSA and Esserosa are two of the best players that I know when it comes to this tier, so they're really good. Um, Pilo Swine is not your typical um, GSC underused lead as it's not bad. It has a pretty good matchup against Psychics who fear staying in on it. So you can really start off with quick and early freezes against some very threatening um, many mons and you know um, it's always good to start off with that. It's pretty straightforward. Rest talker. Granbull, on the other hand, is uh, never really um, obvious. Uh, it's it can go for uh, frustration, but it can also deal some interesting damage by um, by ways of other attacks as well. Hidden dark ground, um, and in the lead position, you you can't really know a hundred percent what it is. Um, it could. It's usually curse usually curse lead, but uh, it serves pretty much a similar purpose to Pilo Swine, with the difference being that it's not especially bulky. So in this case, they're going to trade blows, which uh, seems, you know, pretty um, normal to me. And um, Esta going for the Ice Beam, just on the off chance that he could get a freeze. Not really sure if it's offense yet at this point. Um, Granbull lead to me indicates that it's not going to be hyper off. Oh no, sorry, it can be hyper offensive, or it could be um, not a balanced team. So it's not going to be a Granbull balanced team. It's going to be something that's either using Granbull as a wall breaker, so a double normal sweeper, for instance. You could have a Wigglytuff in the back, or it's going to be a st just hard stall because you know that you'll be able to get Granbull to recover back that HP. So, um, as you see from rest. So, um, especially since HSA likes to use Protect Granbull, this could suggest that it is a rest uh, um, stall, a stallier variant. So, Esta goes in with an early Quillfish, interestingly enough. And, um, yeah. It also should be noted that uh, Piloswine uh, nearly three hit KOs Granbull with Earthquake. But if Granbull is Curse, he can continue um, dealing the exact same amount of damage he would normally deal to an unboosted Granbull with the Earthquake using Ice Beam. So if Granbull sets up, it may become physically more bulky, but it'll, it'll take just as much damage from Ice Beam. So. Um, good on him to <coughs> kind of just, you know, mix things up a little. Um, he's going to go for early spikes against that Granbull. Switch back out to Slowbro. Slowbro is a decent-ish um, answer to Granbull. Now, for one of the reasons mentioned earlier, that Curse Granbull is not going to necessarily be safe. So we don't know if it's Curse, but if it were Curse... Um, against Slowbro, it's kind of interesting because Slowbro happens to be just bulky enough to avoid like a three or four hit KO or something like that. Uh, um, a three hit KO. So, what you'd think that by using Curse, Granbull could just easily check Slowbro, but um, you have another thing coming because Slowbro can three hit KO Granbull. And if Granbull uses Curse, then it's slower. So in the 1v1, Granbull would lose to a healthy Slowbro. Um, curse Granbull. 
All right, so in comes Blastoise, and that's a strong hint at stall because of its rapid spin, its access to rapid spin. Instead, HSA is going to switch to Electabuzz, and he's going to Pursuit the Quillfish. So using Pursuit is really good, uh, as uh, Pursuit will deal significant chip damage to Quillfish. And if Estoroso wants to get and protect his spikes, he's going to have to really challenge that Blastoise. Blastoise has Surf, usually, and Rest and Sleep Talk, so um, can really stay in on Quillfish for a long time and slowly weaken it. So it's going to be tricky. Uh, Estoroso is going to go to his Mr. Mime, take the opportunity to use Meditate. So... In case you're wondering, no, this is not a physical attacking Mr. Mime. <laughs> In comes Electabuzz. I'll just show rather than say. So here is... In comes Shuckle as Estorosa passes a plus one attack to Shuckle. So very interesting to see. This appears to be the strategy that Estorosa is going to be using against HSA, which re finally reveals um, the beast of his, you know, that is his team. And it is, in fact, a stall team. Here comes Shuckle, checks all kinds of uh, normal attackers, checks, to a certain extent, checks Scyther. So, at plus one, that Earthquake's gonna deal a lot, but it's also has um, a, a defense boosting move of its own and then pylos one can use ice beam deals 20 percent that's not a five hit ko okay so um this is not looking very good now essa can only hope to get a crit against the likes of this shuckle otherwise he's gonna have to come in with quillfish to apply the pressure force it out and then back in um, and by way of doing this, maybe whittle down the Shuckle. Meantime, HSA is going to fight back using Wing Attack on the Crawbat. Crawbat also showing its excellent uh, PP stalling capabilities with a 56 PP attack in Wing Attack. In comes Blastoise. It looks like Blastoise might use Rapid Spin here. There it is. And Critting, dealing 10%. Uh, further insult to injury and there we see hidden power could be hidden power electric could be hidden power ground could be hidden power psychic um it deals a lot to this quillfish interestingly enough so um although quillfish is defensively a good type that poison typing is actually pretty weak to a lot of different special attacks so we have no way of knowing uh what that special hidden power is but we do know that it was very much intentional, and it was intended to hit that Quillfish. So HSA showing some counter-teaming capabilities of his own there, as he knows that Estorosa has somewhat of a grindy mindset. And now he's going to pass right to the Piloswine. Piloswine can take the return just fine, and crit Oko's the Grand Bull. So... Um, that's one win condition from HSA, a potential curse rest talk sweeper, or maybe heal bell user, although I wouldn't think so, that is just taken out like that. And mind you, Curse Grand Bull has the ability to sweep an entire team, so the offensive win condition has been taken out, leaving HSA only with the option to stall out his opponent. If he's going to stall his opponent out, then the onus, I guess, in a way, is on Estorosa to keep that pressure maintained somehow. But that also means that he has some sort of leeway because he's not going to be too pressured fighting back. He's just going to be focusing on dealing damage himself. So he can also... Um, maybe concede a rapid spin or two as long as he can assure that his own quillfish is going to gain HP back maybe bringing it in on shuckle um, so I'm trying to break down the important aspects about this game 
there's going to come a time where I will speed things up because it's a stall game, as you can see here. Unless Esta can pass one or two, maybe three, uh, plus three <laughs> attack or something to Piloswine or to Quillfish, because that would be interesting, passing an attack stat to Quillfish. Oh, there. Speak the devil. Um, now he can spam Sludge Bomb and deal some nice damage there. He's going to go... You know, he's going to get his spikes back. That's fine. You know, he, he gets HP back in the process, so there's nothing to be lost here. And will he spam Psychic? Yes, he will. Deals 28% to the Blastoise. Blastoise probably not wanting to stay in. I mean, he's going to go for the Rapid Spin, of course, but won't want to stay in forever, that's for sure. Um, I suppose that Estarosa could have gone... Could have stayed in, um, arguably. But I would suspect that HSA has a Chansey in the back. So, yeah, there it is. So Mr. Mime, going to BP out, go back to his Quillfish, gain some lefties right back. And no, he goes, I guess, a little bit too preemptively. Does not scout for the Thunder from Chansey. How unfortunate. Gets O-Code. And now next time Blastoise is in, uh, mind you, it is at low health, low percent. So a crit is always something to worry about here. But, um, if for any reason it does manage to spin, then the spikes are gone forever, and HSA will s most certainly have an easy time um, just making Estorosa run out of PP here. Uh, mind you, we have not seen anything else applying pressure on this Shuckle um, so we don't know what Estorosa can really do, um, to threaten Shuckle without inviting Blastoise back in. So, had there been a Curse Granbull, at the very least, Esta might have been able to, uh, st I don't know, crit the Shuckle? Maybe if he had Thief, a Thief Haunter? Haunter would do would work wonders against uh, this team. Ah, here we see Dodrio. Okay. Does the Dodrio have some interesting moves of its own? Drill Peck would be nice. Piloswine comes in, gets toxic. So predicts the toxic there. Goes to the sleep talker. Goes back to Mime. He's gonna BP. No uh no meditate there. As uh Esta is kind of weaving in and out. Just trying to figure things out there. Um, and uh, look at all that PP. Defense Curl has 61 PP. So, yeah, he can just spam the hell out of that. Not really much to do. And in comes Piloswine. As Blastoise gets frozen on the very turn that HSA switches in. Now, it's not over for HSA. He can still stall out the Piloswine with ease. In fact, now that Blastoise is frozen, Esta cannot freeze Shuckle. So he could keep Blastoise in the back and stay in for as long as he wants. It's on Esta to find an opportunity to apply that pressure. And you have to wonder, does this Chansey have Heal Bell? Very likely. So, what's the one thing you should absolutely not do? Well, probably apologize. <laughs> because you want to make sure that that freeze counts. And in comes Shuckle. But, uh, just as I said that, the... The biggest misplay you could expect. Estorosa says, sorry. No, don't. Never apologize. Do not show your weakness. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I don't know. I'm kind of a, a person who vouches against uh, apologizing because, you know, if that's how, if it works, it works. But also, when you apologize, nine times out of ten, it's going to come back to bite you. GSC mechanics say that there's a good chance that this Blastoise can thaw out, or Heal Bell can happen. 
slow bro in comes chancy surf and what do we see granbull coming in and there's a heel bell so what's the point of apologizing Ugh, i don't know all right so granbull comes in i think these turns have gone by rather quickly oh never mind 15 minutes haha <laughs> lol so dodrio is in so we see curse so we see three pretty good uh and and also the quillfish i guess but we see three good uh recipients of uh meditate now I don't really know how much I agree with it, though, because you want to pass Meditate to a Granbull, but at the end of the day, Granbull can always just use Curse, so I'm not really sure about this uh, team-building strategy here. Um, Dodrio seems to be Rest Talk, maybe? Uh, with the Drill Peck, and I'm assuming Double Edge Rest and Sleep Talk, so yeah. Uh, I mean, assuming. I... I confess that I've seen the game, but I can't remember everything. So, um, Dodrio's in. Gonna apply some of that pressure. Personally, I have a Dodrio set where, um, instead of Rest Talk, because I'm not a huge fan of it, um, it has Drill Peck and Whirlwind. So you can do some, uh, some sort of, uh, some... Ro uh, some spikes shuffling a la Roar Raikou in GSC Overused, you know? So that could help. But the Drill Peck is also doing some pretty nice damage to Shuckle as it's neutral, so yeah. Um, that's not too bad. It is Sleep Talk Shuckle, though, so... His best method of applying that pressure is gonna be forcing the Shuckle in and out and in and out again. And here comes Blast. And now Blastoise is just going to be able to use Rest or Rapid Spin, one or the other, uh, thus nullifying um, the big threat to Shuckle. So now Esther really is going to have to find some huge opportunity. It's not completely gone, but uh, let me tell you something. Granbull is no Curse, Flamethrower, Snorlax. So he's going to have to find some way of breaking through that Shuckle and he's going to have to do it the good old-fashioned way, smacking it as hard as he can. And perhaps accumulating uh, meditate stats. But the other thing that should be noted, there it is. So now we see plus two attack, but all it does is 30% to the already boosted shuckle, now maxed out in defense. There's 25, and uh, you know he's going to have to rinse and repeat again. Uh, not to mention that the Crawbat probably has Haze. So now, I think it's fair that we speed things up. So I'm going to go on fast. And uh, HSA just using Rest. And Sleep Talk. So HSA proving that with Rest and Sleep Talk, you can already do um, quite a lot with Shuckle. That's all he really needs to do is just sit right there and hold tight. Um... If the Shuckle gets crit, then it's probably lights out for HSA. Not gonna lie. Uh, although, I suppose that the Electabuzz can get some nice crits, but there's a Piloswine, so yeah. Um, yeah, HS, uh, Estorosa is gonna want to get some crit soon uh, before he runs out of PP. He's using Double Edge here. Um, not sure. Uh, perhaps... Just to avoid some Crawbat switch in there. And there's the Crawbat. Using Haze. That's another 48 PP move. It still takes a fuck ton of damage from Dodrio. From Double Edge there. It's going to use Protect. So it's set is Wing Attack, Toxic, Haze, Protect. And HSA is probably going to weave right back to Shuckle. At this point, it's not really hard pressed. Um, as it can use Defense Curl. There is a crit, but uh, too little too late. Actually, never mind. And, ooh, 14%. I really, really want to check that. So I want to check that right now. Shuckle. Dodrio. Drill Pack. Hmm. 
It says minimum 20%. Then why did it do 14? Oh, because it was at plus 1. Yeah. Uh, 16.4... Yeah, no, it was out of range. It was out of range. So it, um, three percent plus the fourteen, it was very likely out of range. It could, although at the same time that might not that might be less than three percent. It's probably rounded up. So yeah, um, that's too bad because that would have been uh, that would have been the win con right there. Um, again, Esteros is weak to Granbull. His team is weak to Granbull. However, <laughs> the Granbull's gone, so HSA can only stall. And it looks like he's doing quite well. He can just spam the hell out of Defense Curl. And s presumably, Esterosa could also just, you know, infinitely switch, but that's not really going to be a good idea. So... Um, we'll see how he plays it out. You know, we're at turn 97. And it keeps going. And going and going. So, Granville's gonna spam a little more returns there. I would probably just switch a lot at this point, really. Um, scout for that move. Now, Blastoise might not be Sleep Talk. Um, I'm not sure. So, Esterosa probably settling with one attack boost for a very good reason. So, um, instead of accumulating attack boosts, because Dodrio's attack is not maxed out here, but it doesn't make a huge difference to accumulate attack. Um, the reason being that HSA can always do one of two things. Switch in Crawbat or go to Shuckle and just stall. If you have fewer attack boosts than your opponent's Mon has defense boosts, then a crit will nullify the opponent's defense boost but keep your attack boost that's how it works in gsc so that's why esterosa is staying with one plus one attack dodrio rather than going to plus three with mr mime and then passing okay So at this point, we might even speed it up a little more. Of course, Shuckle has only six um, rest PP left, so that's also something that should be noted. So HSA can't stall forever. Actually, how does HSA win this? Ah, by toxicking the mime. All right. Yeah, that's that's one way. He's going to have to baton pass here or attack, I guess, yeah. Uh, all right. I might have clicked meditate. Now he's going to go to Dodrio. Okay. And technically, Dodrio has a lot of PP and there's a huge crit. There's a big one. So if Dodrio has so if Dodrio has more attack boosts than Shuckle has at defense boosts, um, then Shuckle's defense boosts are still considered, I think. But if Shuckle has no boosts, then you know it'll still do a lot of damage, like you saw right there. So yeah. Um, all right. Still working out. Um, six PP, but 
Dodrio's running out of drill pack PP. He's gonna have to use a lot of that. I might even go so far as to just switch. No? Just keep switching back and forth between Bro and Pyloswine. Uh. Let's speed it up. Drill Peck, Defense Curl, Defense Curl. And there we go, another roll. Nothing. So, it survived by the skin of its teeth. And it's becoming harder to follow, presumably, but that's because we're keeping track of PP here. So, at this point, there's only 17 attacks from Dodrio left. Barring the sleep talks rolling. So there's that. And Shuckle has five rests and eight sleep talks. Five rests count actually for three turns, though. So that's actually 15 plus eight. All right. Mind you, Shuckle can just spam the hell out of defense curl, so... Now Mime is going to have to figure something out, but he can't just stay in. He's going to take too much damage. And now Gramble comes in. So yeah, Mime cannot stay in for long against Electabuzz, and now it's severely weakened. I might even have gone to Piloswine, though. Oh well. Alright, so uh, Slowbro comes in here. Chansey's in. A nice crit EQ. Piloswine KOs the Crawbat. But that doesn't really matter too much at this point of the game. It's not very important. Heal Bell. No crit on the Blastoise. Blastoise heals right back up. And Dodrio expends its PP. Deals some nice damage to Electabuzz. HSA probably predicting. Uh, um, so let's go back there one sec. Just one sec. One, two, three. Alright. The game froze. Alright. There we go. Ice Beam. Dodrio. Dodrio has 11 PP left. He's gonna use Rest. And, uh... Blastoise has Rapid Spin. Still has not revealed Sleep Talk. And why should he, right? Double Edge. So HSA is kind of playing some mind games here, but also really um, risking jumping the gun. I mean, I guess he can't do otherwise. He can't do anything else but do that. Uh, Heal Bell is very helpful for the Shuckle here as it's not forced to use Sleep Talk or Burn Turns. Um, Dodrio coming in, gets a Sleep Talk, deals a double-edged damage, but dies to recoil. Granbull comes in as Frustration and Thunder. So Thunder deals not that much to Shuckle. Not quite enough to really hurt. Um, Shuck Thunder Granbull is very good for the likes of Omastar. Blastoise coming in. Thunder. And uh, more frustration as Granbull takes out his frustration on Shuckle. But at this point, even with this freeze on the Blastoise, there isn't really much to be done. Spikes are, have been gone for like a hundred turns. And, um... So, yeah. Uh, M Mr. Mine... Could still sort of make a move here, but it's looking very, very difficult as of now. Um, Shuckle has just enough PP, and Granbull has already consumed more than half of its uh, attacking PP, so uh, it's really, um, it's really in no position to to do much. Although, admitted, no, even the Piloswine is out of PP at this point, so, yeah. The game is pretty much over. I'm just going to speed it up to the ending. 
until something noticeable happens. Rapid spin. Rapid spin 61 PP, as we already mentioned, so very long. And now HSA is just switching like a madman. Until eventually we will see a forfeit. Okay. The slow bro is taken out. And the Grand Bull is taken out. And that's the end of the game. So, um, it wasn't too... Okay, it was just uh, over half an hour. But I think I covered it in a decent span of time. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned.